Our hero Dan Blacker, condemned to forever wander the earth alone, walks a dark West Russian forest trail at night, making his way through the moonlit woodland towards a small village in the heart of Sakhalin. He ventures into the small village of Aniva, having been summoned there as a bounty hunter to rid the town from the ungodly beast that has been terrorizing the inhabitants. The village leader meets with Dan and explains that he will be rewarded handsomely if he is able to free the town from the creature who appears every full moon. It is now clear to Dan that the town has become the feeding ground of a werewolf. Dan stares into the eyes of the leader and agrees. However, he will need some help. A silver bullet must be cast so that he can take down the beast. The leader arranges for a collection of silverware from the villagers and then instructs the resident blacksmith to cast a silver bullet for the bounty hunter. The blacksmith, a massive hulk of a man, agrees to the task. And within the hour, as instructed, he creates a projectile of pure silver. As he hands it to Dan, he stares deep into his eyes and makes him vow to protect his family. The full moon is only moments away, so the entire town goes into lockdown, knowing all too well the carnage that will befall them if they are found exposed outside. And so the hunter takes up his position and lies in wait for the beast to appear. Time passes slowly and the night becomes icy cold. Dan can only hope that the beast shows itself before fatigue sets in and he falls asleep. The clouds part from the moon and a blood-curdling howl rings out through the night. In the distance, the enormous form of the beast appears. Half human, half wolf. The time has come for killing. It stands there in the moonlight, breathing, steaming, hungry for flesh, thirsty for blood. In the blink of an eye, the beast rushes towards the well and takes a swipe at the form in front of him, shredding it to pieces. And then it realizes it's nothing more than cloth and straw that's been tricked. Frustrated, he howls angrily into the night. From a window above the square, Dan gets the werewolf in his sights. He lines up the beast with his pistol loaded with the silver bullet and slowly pulls the trigger. Nothing happens. The bullet is a dud. The beast hears the click and turns in the direction of the sound. It sees the hunter and lets out an earth-shuddering guttural scream. Dan Blacker retreats to safety and leaves the beast alone in the night. Dan then examines the failed bullet and realizes there had been no primer and no powder placed into the bullet casing. This bullet was never going to fire, no matter what. The next day, when the village leader hears this, he quickly surmises that the blacksmith must be the werewolf and had sabotaged the bullet to ensure his safety. The blacksmith is soon arrested, leaving his devastated, weeping family behind. The village leader then denies the bounty hunter any payment for not killing the beast and then commands him to vanish from his sight, as they now have the blacksmith in custody and will deal with it themselves. Dan refrains from challenging his decision, for he knows there is something deeper at play. Weeks go by, and the blacksmith is tortured relentlessly, yet he does not confess that he is the werewolf. So the town relents and decides to chain him to a post and put him on full display during the next full moon where the entire village will watch him change form. And then the execution can take place. The dense clouds eventually separate and the full moon is revealed. The atmosphere is tense for no one is entirely sure what to expect next. 
The blacksmith's family watches on from within the crowd, tears streaming down their faces. And then immediately, they begin to feel a painful tearing and ripping throughout their bodies. And within seconds, they have all transformed into the beasts of the night. The townspeople and police, all completely caught off guard, are unceremoniously torn to shreds and devoured by the bloodthirsty pack of massive werewolves amongst them. The carnage is horrific. The screams deafening, and it lasts for hours. As people run, they are hunted down. Shots are fired and torches are thrown, only adding to the mayhem that ensues. And slowly, the entire town burns to the ground. And Dan Blacker walks. He walks away from the carnage and off into the night. A huge thank you to all who support us through Patreon. Your ongoing support is greatly appreciated. And a special shout out goes to the Dark Cosmos, Christina, and Five Plate Destiny.